The Providence College Friar basketball program celebrated their Friar Legends Forever jersey retirement ceremony at the Omni Hotel in downtown Providence on February 13th. The event, which began in 1996, is held to honor players or coaches who have made a significant impact on Friar basketball and received national recognition during their time at the school. At this year's event, the Friars honored three basketball players and a broadcaster, Andrea Mangum, Jim Hadnot, John Thompson, and the longtime voice of the Friars, Chris Clark. Mangum's 25, Hadnot's 54, and Thompson's 50 were all retired at the ceremony in front of family, friends, members of the women and men's basketball programs, and Friars both past and present. Throughout the night, speeches, video tributes, and stories were told about the four honorees as John Rook, Ed Cooley, Bob Driscoll, and Father Brian Shanley all gave speeches to set up the night, while Lenny Wilkins told stories about his time at Providence College and spoke on behalf of Hadnot and Thompson. Providence was a great uh, lesson learner for me because that's really where I started to develop and grow and, and not just in basketball, but in every other aspect of life. One of the many highlights of the night included Andrea Mangum's emotional speech. To the entire Friar Athletic Department and the fans, it was my honor to represent my city, Providence College, and to wear number 25, Lady Friar Jersey. Thank you guys. It was a great night honoring Friar legends and celebrating what it means to play for Providence College. The next day during halftime of the men's basketball game against Seton Hall, all four were honored at the middle of Dave Gavitt Court in the Dunkin' Donuts Center as Hadnot and Thompson had their banners unveiled to hang at the top of the arena with all the other greats, while Mangums hangs up in the illustrious Alumni Hall. The weekend captured some of the history of the Providence College basketball programs and showed how many great historical basketball figures have put on the Friar uniform. In the end, four more Friar greats can now call themselves Friar legends.